Hi there, this is a multi-part series on order entry user interface for electronic medical records. And the goal of this series is uh, both threefold. The first is to introduce people to medication orders, specifically targeted at non-clinicians. The second is to show some examples of how order entry has been done traditionally in the past on electronic medical records. And then the third is to start working through some mock-ups and examples on ways we can improve this. And so this will cascade over several different posts. Consider each one of these just a first draft of these ideas. It's primarily designed to help our group start working on these demos and a cleaner order entry tool. Any feedback is, of course, uh, highly appreciated. So. Let's look at some baseline requirements when we're thinking about an order entry tool. Ideally, it needs to work on mobile, tablet, and desktop. It needs to function in environments which are 100% touchscreen only and environments which are 100% keyboard entry. It needs to handle both order sentences, which are complete sets of orders, such as metoprolol 25 milligrams POBID, but it also needs to be able to handle fully customizable orders where each component of the order is adjusted by the clinician. There needs to be a seamless transition between going from an order sentence to full customization of that sentence. And the order entry tool will be embedded in different parts of the EHR, meaning at times the clinician will be able to place an order right within a workflow, uh, such as a questionnaire that they're administering, other times they'll be able to launch the order functionality from a separate icon not within an existing workflow. And the hard part is that the order entry tool has to compete against the gold standard. And this gold standard is a pen on a prescription pad scribbling a prescription. And although the EHR will always lead ahead of pen and paper in terms of legibility, traditionally the EHR lags greatly behind in speed. And the problem is that whatever order tool we make can't put a frown on the user's face, it can't make them pull their hair out and it, or send them on f stress leave as current EHR systems are doing to clinicians around the world. And so what we need is an order framework, which ideally not only works for orders, uh, specifically for medications, but also can apply to lab orders, imaging orders, consult orders, etc. And the um, for now, just to make things easier, this series on order entry won't uh, talk about order templates, order sets, or order protocols. I want to look at that entirely uh, at a later point. Let's turn briefly now to order um, what a medication order is and a medication prescription is. Traditionally, a prescription is thought to be something which happens in the outpatient environment, something a patient might fill, whereas a medication order is traditionally considered something in the inpatient environment that a, a nurse, for instance, might administer. In FHIR, what they have done is they have combined both medication prescriptions and medication orders into the same resource, which is the medication uh, request resource. And for simplicity, I'll refer to a medication order to mean both the prescription and the uh, order. But in FHIR, they're essentially handling both inpatient and outpatient requests within a single resource. Let's look at the common components of a medication request. In general, you need to identify the patient the request is for, have information about who is ordering it or if it's being ordered on behalf of someone else, there will be, of course, a date with the request, and then the medication order itself. And so if we turn to the medication order itself, we find that there is common components within a medication script. This will include the drug name, perhaps generic or non-generic, the drug dose with both numerical values and units. There'll be a route for ingestion, such as in, by mouth or intravenous or per rectum. There'll be a frequency, how often to take the medication, and a duration which is how long the medication should be taken for. Without this information, it is pretty difficult to properly dispense a medication. But additional information, at times, might have to be added to a medication order to fully understand it. Other types of additional information which might need to be in a medication order include things such as the medication form, whether it's a powder, a cream, or an ointment, whether the patient can take it PRN or as needed, and if so, what the indication is, such as for nausea. 
They might need to be details as far as how many refills the patient can have, if there are specific instructions for the patient, such as don't take with alcohol, uh, or specific instructions for the nurse, such as only give while the patient is awake. The order may have a priority, such as give stat. It might have a specific start date or a specific end date. The order may have uh, uh, specific details as far as what should activate it, such as that the medication should only be taken based on the results of a particular drug level or based on a particular uh, blood test. Or the, the order itself actually might not be activated until another uh, event in the medical record happens, such as a patient is uh, admitted out of the operating room or after the patient uh, is admitted to the ward from the emergency room. Can the pills be crushed? Do they need to be prepared in a specific way? Can the drugs be substituted for generics? These and many, many more considerations might go into the final uh, medication order details. And it's important to remember that every one of these items we've discussed and all of the core components each have probably dozens of different options which could apply to that. And so there's an incredible amount of customization for particular uh, medication order. As far as standards to help make sense of this, there are, of course, the fire medication request standards, which is a resource which specifies the types of content which needs to be collected for a medication request. And of course, this is based ultimately on the actual codable concept of medication and the components required with it. There are also other standards, such as ISO, which has specific standards around electronic prescriptions and medications. Unfortunately, many of their standards are behind firewalls, but there is an early draft, which I linked to here from 2014, which wasn't finalized, but does help provide some background as far as what ISO is thinking might be called considered standard components of an electronic prescription. As we can see in this first post, we're setting ourselves up for disaster. Medi users want to be able to place medication orders quickly, but as we have seen, there are an incredible number of potential customizable fields for any order. And so how do we balance these competing interests? Well, what I would like to do in the next post is show some examples of how this has traditionally been handled by electronic medical records.